<laughs> Something I was just thinking about, sitting out here looking at this pig, really got me thinking. I was contemplating what I was going to talk about today, and just staring at this pig right now just really is inspired me and kind of made me smile, made me laugh a little bit. Because the concept of trying to hide, but yet I can still see you. He thinks he's hidden because he can't see me or he can't see the dog. But yet he's right there. I can still see him. I wonder how many are in a situation where you're, you're trying to hide from something. You're trying to run from something. You're trying, to, you're trying to just escape it. But yet you come to realize everyone around you can see it. They realize it. They, they see everything you're trying to hide. They see everything that you're trying to, trying to push off and try to make disappear. It's, it, you're not able to really hide it. Even just because you can't see it doesn't mean that someone else can't see it. My name is Mark Anthony Dubose Jr. and I was born July 4th, 1986. As much as this pig decided to try to stay a little quiet and stay a little hidden, he just can't hide, especially when you're trying to hide from a dog that can smell you out a mile away. And it's something that's just very interesting to me because that's something, a concept that I just realized that we as humans really, really, really like to do. Because we can't quite see the thing that's going on with us. We think that everyone else can't. We think that we are trying to hide things that we are all about, hide things that we go, hide things that we're constantly talking about, hide things that we're trying to uh, uh, push away to make sure no one can see it. And we're doing our best to try to hide it. We're doing our best to try to put a mask on it and fake like and act like somebody that we're really not. We think that because we can't see it and we think that we're doing all that work that everyone out there has no idea of what's going on. Hey, Oreo. He's in his house. Can't push him further into his house. He's already in there. Get, get down. Get down. And that's something that, uh, uh, Oreo, get down. That's something that is just very, very, very fascinating to me on the, on the idea of making sure that we are doing in private what we do in, in, in public. Because a lot of times we think, Oreo, down. I know, the pig really gets you. Today we're overtraining today. A lot of times we think that what we do in public, we can, we can continue to keep doing. But you're always going to run into a situation this is where there's going to be an always. Not an always and never, but in this specific situation, you're going to run into an always. You're always going to run into a situation that you can't continue to keep that, that, that facade on, that mask, that, that fakeness. You can't keep doing it over and over every day, just constantly and consistently. consistently. You, just, you just can't. You're going to run into a situation that, that you're going to have to slip it up and, and to start to show and start to embrace and show what it is that you actually truly are. There's just, there's just no way. And that's why the only way that we're going to be able to be a people out here that are going to be able to do some very powerful and very amazing things is we're continuously working on our, upon ourselves in private. In private, you got to do what you do. You got to be who you are. You got to make happen what you got to make happen so that when you go in public, you can be who you are. You can make happen what you need to make happen. You can be everything that you're all about. You don't have to feel like you got two different sides of it. Or I just don't like a whole lot of people on this planet live that way. And, and it's very unfortunate that you feel like you have to live that way because most cases it's probably because somebody told you you were stupid, silly, pathetic, worthless, and meaningless in some aspect of your life that now you have, you have it inside of you that you, you got to like try to stay away from those parts of you so that you can produce and put out something to the, to the, to the market. That is, that is so perfect and so pure and so amazing. But some of us, we take that, we take that and we, we, we go too far with get down. We go too far with it, where at, at first it's, it's, it's simple little things and it's cute little things in reality that the rest of the world will look at, but you, you suffer, you think it's disastrous. Like, for instance, when you, you, you got that one pimple on your face and you yourself can see it because you're looking in the mirror and you're just like all about it. You're like, I can't even go out because I got this one pimple on my face where you realize like majority of pretty much every single person that ever views you, they don't even see that. They don't even pay attention to that. They don't even notice that. But yet you got that in your mind that that's what everyone's going to see. That's what everyone's going to pay attention to. But no one actually even cares about it. No, because everyone's caring about their own pimple that they have on their face, their own issue that they got going on, their own flaw that they have going on in their life that they're not so focused upon what it is that they see in your flaws all the time. It's something that a lot of us get stuck in. And we get stuck in that in a way that, 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 that there's good in it and then there's some devastation behind it. And the devastation comes when you just keep on hiding, you keep on hiding, and then you keep on creating. Then you keep on trying to create a whole new person, a whole new character, a whole new being that you're not able to actually keep up with full time full, for a long time. You may be able to keep up with it for a couple hours, for a couple days even. Maybe even a couple years you can keep up with it. But you're going to run into a situation that you're just going to stumble. You're going to fall. You're going to fail. You're going to start to revert and change into what it is, who you truly are. Who, who it is that you actually think in your brain of who you are. A lot of us are putting out a fake character. And in your brain, you think of yourself as worthless and pathetic and meaningless and, and stupid and retarded and, and all these negative words. This is what you're constantly saying to yourself in your brain. But when you go out in public, you're like, I'm smart, I'm the best, I'm the greatest. But it, 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 you're saying that aloud, but you're still inner, inner, inner thoughts and inner thinking is still of these, these just ruthless negative words that you're saying to yourself. And you're going to run into a situation that you, you, you're going to start damaging a lot of people around you. 
when you have these thoughts in your brain and you're trying to interact with people because you're going to start to put pressure upon people that people are not going to be able to keep up with because no one is ever going to get you out of your worthlessness. Only you can. No one is going to get you out of your stupidity. Only you can. No one is going to get you out of your loneliness. Only you can. No one is going to get you out of any of these things. You're only going to be able to get out of that your own self. And your own self, working on your own self to be able to get your own self through some things to realize I've got some problems. I've got some issues that maybe I can't even see. I'm hidden in the world. I'm not allowing the world to be able to see, but the whole world can see it. That, that for this little pig here, he, he, he's so short for one that he, he th <laughs> he's so far down there that he's like, hey, nobody can see me because I'm way down here. As opposed to realizing this is something amazing. That I just have a real good understanding of, of knowing that God is so large and so magnificent and just so amazing that he, we're, we're small down here compared to him. We're small. We're, 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 we're very, very, very tiny. But in comparison to where he's at and what he's able to see and what he's able to, to understand about us, we, we can't hide. We can't hide anywhere. We can't even hide in our thoughts. And that's where, for me, I've had probably the biggest revelation of life, of realizing that I can't run from my thoughts. I gotta just accept it, figure it out, deal with it, and move on with it. I can't just try to try to dance around everything is all right when my thoughts are not all right. I can't just dance around and act like I'm just so perfect and everything's so great and, and try to go out there and work so hard and try to do the best for absolutely everybody, knowing that I'm only doing good because I'm hurting so much inside and not just dealing with that actual hurt and realizing that, the reason why situations keep on happening to me and things keep on coming to me is because of the, the, the image that I'm putting out and not the actual true who I am to myself is coming out. And now that I've really come to just relax and let, let a lot of this go and start to realize that I'm not worthless and I'm not pointless, and I'm not meaningless, I'm not stupid, I'm not retarded, I'm not any of that. I'm a very intelligent human being on this planet, the same way you are, the same way that every, every single person out here is. That we all have our own intelligence and our own thing. And that's another thing of stop paying attention to what someone else has and is doing. Because I'm telling you, you have your own extreme level of intelligence with the things that you just really know a whole lot about. And who cares if the whole world doesn't care about what it is that you care about? Who cares if the thing that you are super motivated and so, so dedicated with that no one out here cares about what it is that, that with that? Just you focus and dial in and start getting better at that. You start putting more of your energy into it. You start just, just really working upon being able to bring your intelligence out instead of thinking that you're just stupid because you can't do what that person next to you can do. You're stupid because you can't do what you see even your brother or your sister doing. You're stupid because you can't do what you think is the stupid person is able to do. And that really can get into your brain in a, in a really complicated way, uh, some sort of way. That uh, if you think someone else is very intelligent, you, you, and they're doing better than you, it, it can really get, it really get inside of you to just make you think that you are absolutely nothing on this planet. I'm going to tell you that you are not nothing on this planet. And the main thing that we need to work upon is the things that are in our thoughts, in our private, that we don't think that anybody can see when everybody can see it. That's why, for me, I would always question, like, why would I continue to keep getting certain people into my life? Certain relationships I would get into, like, I would just keep finding the same, the same girl. Like, literally, the same one over and over and over. I mean, it's just, it, it, it kind of impressed me a little bit how I'm able to find the same one. I would just, I would just keep finding it. And, and she, would, she would have that, uh, the exact same traits. I don't care what nationality, I don't care what age, I don't care where a part of the world she was from. Like, I would keep getting the same one. And it, was, it just kind of made me smile in a, in a way a couple, a couple years ago of just trying to really figure out what is going on here and what is happening here. And I just had to really think hard about what it is that I'm, like, say, fake like putting out to the universe as opposed to what I actually am about and trying to do. Because when you put something fake out, you're going to get something fake to come in to, to latch onto that, to start to... Mm, I'm gonna say use and manipulate because when you try to push, put yourself out there to try to be so perfect and so great and so amazing and so on time and so so the best of the best and always there for everybody, but you're actually not. You're actually like super lazy. You're actually super laid back. I don't want to say lazy, but yeah, lazy. That's a good word. I like using that word for my own self. Some days, some days I have a lazy day. Like today, <clears throat> I got up. Uh, exceptionally late and uh, decided I'm just not going to go for a walk today because I just needed a day. I needed a day of, I don't think I've, I've been walking now like three months straight, never taking a day off. That Sometimes I just need to take a day from like 90 days of straight doing something. And uh, <clears throat> being lazy is an absolute, uh, it's, a, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to have on this planet, I'm going to say, for you to just be able to not have to, to do a required task every day. It's something so that's a blessing. But uh, when you put yourself out there and, you, and you're making yourself to be like that, you're going to attach, you're going to attract certain people. And these certain people that come to you have, have it in them where they, they don't understand that and they don't get it. And, and when they don't understand it, they don't get it. They want to kind of try to take it from you and try to get it from you. There's all kinds of terms out here that everybody likes to use. And, and mainly the words that I want to use is called labels. And I, and I personally don't, don't appreciate that and I don't agree with that, that I'm not going to call someone a specific label because of certain characteristics, characteristics that they do. I'm not going to call someone a, a certain label because they, they, they are unfortunate in a way of being able to have an understanding of this and that, that, that we are all 
uh, intelligent human beings to be able to, especially once you understand these habits, because that was for me to understand it. I was doing things on autopilot at first and not really, really realizing what I was doing to be able to attract that same person. But once I got out of the autopilot and started recognizing and realizing what I'm doing, who I am and what's going on, I was like, huh, now things are completely different. Different stuff comes to me. Different challenges come to me. Different uh, 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 levels of of excitement and the same time of difficulty come to me. And, I, and I've come to realize that a complete shift, a complete change, a complete all of all, of all have, has, has come to me because I've decided to stop trying to hide even though everyone can see me and see what's going on. I try, I've decided not to try to just, just make myself be, be small and be hidden and be in a corner and be isolated and be by myself and, and, and doing that and decided to just actually work upon myself and just say, you know what, I do have some issues, I do have some problems, I do have something going on here and I need to figure out how to be able to get myself out of that so that I can be able to start bringing better, better people into my life. It's something that I've been working really hard on this past year that is something that has really been able to just uh, upgrade and amplify my life into being something just, just so much better. And so much better in a way of realizing, stop hiding. Stop trying to put a show on. Stop trying to act like you're something that you're not and just be who you are. And when you start to just be who you are, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to guarantee you, I'm going to promise you this right here. This is guarantees and promises that are within this Bible that are just an absolute amazing thing. That once you just start being yourself, you start being who you are, you start being and representing what you all about. I don't care what you want to be. I don't care what you want to do. I don't care any about, any about that any any which way. I don't, I don't care. And, and it's not for me to, to, to say if, if certain guidelines in the Bible you don't agree with. It's not for me to judge you. You can do what you want with that book and with that Bible and make it uh, uh, work for you. Because I'm telling you, you can make it work for anything that you want in any way that you want. And that's the, the power of it and the amazing things of it. But it's also it's, the, it's the, the, the evil behind it at the same time. Because there's people that use it for evil. That's the same way there's people that use it for awesomeness and greatness. That it's a very interesting thing of once you start to just be who you are, you start to just, sh just throw that out in the world. You stop, you start, stop hiding, and stop trying to act like one way this way, trying to act like this, start a, trying to act like you got to do this so that people will like you and people will respect you. I'm telling you and I'm guaranteeing you, you're going to start to really enjoy your life. You're, you're going to start to just really have, have such an absolute fantastic life. Just be who you are. And if the world doesn't accept who you are, I'm telling you, that may just be because they're not, say, ready for that, but, but they're, they are in their feelings still. And they're, they're in their, they don't unsure it's because they're not able to do that. They're not able to make that happen. That's something for me to just really challenge and push a lot of people out here that are just so negative against certain things that are going on out here in our world today. So be it if they're doing what they're doing and you're doing what you're doing, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have a rage about it. Because if you do, that there's some massive insecurities inside of you that are going on that you need to start dealing with on your own self. And you need to start dealing with that in your own time, behind the closed doors, while you're just sitting on a toilet, for instance, trying to think about what you're doing during the day. Is just really get it inside of you of what is it that I'm suppressing? What is it that I'm hiding? Because when you see someone who's just living their life, doing what they're doing, expressing it, lip joined, just, just going all out there, and it enrages you, it's because you have yet to still do that. You are still trying to put on a show and a character and an actor for people to see about who it is who you are. And that's something to me that is just, I, I don't know, it's, it's such an interesting concept and an interesting thing that some of us just feel like we can't, we can't uh, feel like, I know like, some of us I know like just cannot express who we are, that we have to always have a, a character show and a character being because we, we just have it in us that no one is going to accept us and no one is going to like us. And I'm going to tell you this right now. No one's going to accept you and no one's going to like you if you keep doing what you're doing because you're just a liar and nobody wants to be around a liar. Nobody wants to be around a thief. Nobody wants to be around someone that's stealing and breaking and destroying and lying and slandering and jealousy and having rage and, and just having any of these issues going on. Nobody wants to be around that person. And if you're constantly just trying to hide yourself and be about yourself in a way of, of just trying to hide even though the world can still see it, no one's going to want to be around you and you're going to start to bring in people that are, for one, going to try to destroy you and try to damage you. And that's why, for me, it's like we, we need to look at, I'm going to use the term right here that everybody likes to use, is that term narcissist. That we, we as a society look at one way and don't look at the other way. That maybe the reason why you're getting such, say, toxic people into your life that are constantly draining your energy, hurting you and damaging you and, and sabotaging you is because you're doing something wrong and they're doing something right. I don't think, and I don't even, even believe, this is just, this is who I am. Mark Anthony DuBose Jr., born July 4th of 1986, is, is very interesting thing of, I don't look at this world as, as it just being one way without looking at it. It could be the other way as well. And that's something that I would love to challenge more and more people with, I got a lot, a lot of this stuff in me in reality that I don't know if the world's ready for it yet, but this whole concept right here of maybe these people coming in that are damaging you, destroying you, 
putting you to the point of wanting to harm yourself and, and wanting to, to just harm yourself to, to, to death in a way that maybe these people are here to help you to get you out of what it is that you're in. And they're not here to damage you. They only seem like they're damaging you because you're still hiding. You're still lying. You're still behind the, 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 the closed doors. You're still not putting yourself out there. You're still not expressing who it is that you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing. You're just, you're just trying to hold it back and hold it in. And maybe that's what's going on with you and why you keep bringing these certain people coming into your life. These people that just want to damage you. These people that just constantly telling you up front, like, I love you, you're great, you're amazing, you're awesome. Because that's what you're trying to push to the world to say who you are, but you're not actually that. So they have to come in and tell you, you are great because you, you are with what you're showing. But what you're actually doing, you're not. So that's why they're trying to help you out with like build your confidence up some because your confidence is extremely down and extremely low. And then they build your confidence up. And then when you don't perform and you don't do what it is that you say you do, you don't perform and make happen what it is that you're, you're pushing out there to the beginning. That's when that person, the narcissist, now just leaves you. You're like, whoa, why the heck would I stay with that person? Because now that person is no longer doing and being and saying anything about who they are and what they're representing. Now they're changing it up. So why would I want to be around that person when they're not they're not on board with what they're doing. I don't think anybody ever looks at the situation of this that way. They're always looking at a way of a person that has claimed a narcissist is such an evil person they're out to just destroy, as opposed to being out here to actually help people, to be able to break people out of the chains and the slavery that they're in, to be able to get them to be in a better situation. Because they can see you hiding. They can see it. They can see all what you're trying to, you're trying to have this fake show out there. They can see it. They can just, they just, they just feed into it. They're just like, oh, give me that person because I can see that he's lying. I can see that he's not trying to represent who he truly is. So, so let me get in there and not get in there as a way to, I, I want to hurt, but get in there as a way to, let me try to build this person up. Because if, if it goes to show who, if a narcissist is a narcissist, it's true to true, they're, they're not in it for, for a feel goods or any of that. They're just, they're, they're just in it in reality for games. They don't have no emotions behind it. They're just doing what they're doing. So if they don't have any emotions behind it, why would it be that they're coming in to try to hurt you in any sort of way as opposed to trying to help you and just expose you as opposed to you thinking that you're going to expose them? That's something that is, is very interesting that I had to realize that with my own life because I would keep attracting the same type of people in my life, the same type of people that me for a long time thinking, y'all trying to hurt me as opposed to maybe I was hurting y'all and, or maybe not even that, but maybe y'all was just trying to help me and try to be able to get me to stop lying and stop being misleading and stop being untrustworthy because of trying to just act and try to be something that I'm actually truly not because not being who it, who it is in my thoughts. Me and my thoughts thinking I'm worthless and I'm pathetic and I'm meaningless and I'm stupid and I'm retarded and thinking all that, but yet trying to show out to the world that I'm amazing and I'm smart and I'm I'm on time and I'm a, I'm, I'm just a bold and I, I'm courageous and I'm all that stuff. Even though I'm saying that, but I'm thinking something different. And these people come into my life to just really get into my brain to make me rethink about everything that's going on with me. That I hear a lot of a lot of this stuff out here, and I've studied a lot on the whole concept of narcissism and and all this. Uh, uh, I don't even know what terms to even use right now because my, my brain just gets flooded with all that information sometimes. But I, I got a lot of research behind all of that to, to to try to figure out what's going on here. And I don't think I ever hear anybody talk about the other side of it. There's always two sides, and there's always an up and a down, and there's always an all the way around, and then there's always an in-between. Hey, Oreo, I see him coming. He's fine. Oreo, he, he's fine. I'll get down. And uh, I, I don't see anybody ever talk about that side of it, of, of trying to be able to figure out. Because there's one thing that I do know about a lot of the research that I've done when it comes to talking about narcissism and all that is the fact that majority of every time, every so-called say say we're survivor if you've had someone do this to you which is a weird thing to me but uh the most interesting part of it is they've always the survivor say has always gotten into a better place a more stable place a more firm place with themselves a more successful way with their lives and, and that's usually what happens when there's like this whole breakup and this issue and these problems because they, they the, the, the narcissist does something to us to make us really think think hard about our lives and ourselves, about what it is that's going on with us. And, and, and it makes us really think hard about why we are doing and getting and having and moving and being and why any of that has happened. It puts you into some extreme deep thought. And then, especially if you're a person like me, who just keep getting the same one and the same type of person. Like, I'm telling you, I don't care age, race, any of that. It's like I would get the same female in my life until I had to make a change. And then I started seeing different females in my life. And I was like, wow, there, there, there are different ones out here, huh? Then, then there, I'm gonna say that there are for sure, for sure some out here that are completely different. But if you are still lying and not trying to put your true self out there to the world, I'm telling you, you're gonna keep getting the same people to you because they're gonna see you for what, you're, what, what you are, not what you're trying to say that you are. And they're, they're, just, they're, they're on a mission. 
There's no feelings involved. There's no emotions involved with these people. They're just on a mission to just, in reality, expose who you are. And there's two sides. There's the other side, the other people that are trying to expose the narcissist. Because you don't have no feelings. You don't have no emotion. You don't have no this. And it's like, so both sides are going back and forth with each other. And, and I, I, I just don't see anybody talking about the concept of someone out here to, say, harm you, but yet to hurt, to, to make you better. And a lot of times we only look at it as it's harmful. We only look at it as, as, as it's dis, dis, disastrous, as opposed to thinking like, maybe this person's trying to help me. Maybe this person's trying to, trying to bring out something in me to be able to allow me to be able to move forward with my life, to be able to just really express who I am and express all, all, of, all of whatever is going on with me, to be able to just really call me out on what it is that's going on with me. Because I'm telling you, a lot of times, it's just a, it's a very interesting thing, and I know this with, on a personal level with a whole lot of people. Uh, every time that someone will say to me, oh, my boyfriend is a narcissist, oh, my, my wife is a narcissist, when I, when I hear this stuff go back and forth, I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, I, I hear what you're saying, but what, what, what's going on with you? Why, why are you having these issues going on? And it's just, I don't, I don't think that we, we, we see that. We think that someone is out to attack us and, and hurt us and to damage us, as opposed to thinking that maybe someone's trying to help us. Maybe someone out there is trying to do something for you. And that's the power of what I'm going to say is who God is all about. That sometimes he needs you to do something. And he, he, he's kind of almost requiring us to do something. Because there's, there's some, some times of change and the things going on around us that, that, he, that he, needs, he needs some of us. And some of us are very, very powerful. And some of us are very, very uh, uh, willing to do. But yet we, we aren't there yet because we're still stuck on basically serving something else. And serving something else can be just serving your own self thinking that you need to work, you, you are the, the, the center of the being, the center of the everything. And there's something that's going to come to us to break, basically break us out of that. And then sometimes the only way that we're able to actually express and see and, and look for God is when we're just broken completely down. And that's something that is just story after story after story after story in that book. That majority of people that really get called to doing some great things for God, they, 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 they've been broken down. They've been beaten down. They, they've had a lot of tr trial. They have a lot of issues, a lot of problems, a lot of wars, a lot of battle, a lot of fighting, a lot of death. A lot of all of that. And then they finally came in and came up. And it's something behind that that I think that majority of us just, just have to deal with and have to go through to figure out who God actually truly is, to be able to give us our peace and give us the joy that we're actually looking for, that we, we have to go through some things that are going to be extremely challenging. And, and then once we go through those challenging things, then we're going to be able to finally be able to have what it is that we're looking for. And that's for me to, to be at the position today of, of working and worrying more about the things that, that I should be a part of, of realizing that I'm not a God and I should never have tried to be. And I should never have even thought another human being out here was that as well. And, and, and it's just something, it's a lot, a lot has ha had to happen to me to be able to uh, introduce me to a whole new world out here. And that is the concept of right at the beginning of you, you think you can hide. You think there's places to hide, but when it comes to God, you can't even hide in your own thoughts because that's all going to be judged in the end with what it is that you do. It's not just about what you do and what you say you do and what you do with other people, but it's, it's a matter of what we're thinking and what we're actually at, what, who we are inside of ourselves, by ourselves, when we're around nobody else. I don't think a lot of people think about that. You're always thinking about, oh, I, I gave some to this homeless person. I gave some to this person in need, so I'm good to go. And it's like, well, you can give to somebody, but yeah, you can call yourself worthless every 15 seconds and, and what, wish death upon yourself every, every other hour, and you're, you're not there yet because you, 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 you're breaking many commandments right there by just doing it to your own self and probably worse off doing it to your own self than doing it to somebody else. That you, We got to get out of that. You got to get away from that. And sometimes the only way we can get away from that is by certain people coming into our lives to be able to just really challenge us to really just make you open up and, and look at the world completely differently. And with that, man, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for being able to have a, a mindset and a, 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 the availability to be able to not ever look at one thing as just, it's, this is just the way it is, but, but be able to blow up my mind with being able to see like there's many different options that could be going on here. And I'm going to definitely be a person on this planet that's going to only just keep on coming up with more and more theories that is going to challenge everything that I ever hear. Because I just look at, I hear what you're saying, but what about this side of it? And, and I'm, I even agree with what you're saying, but what about this side of it? That's something about who I've always been in my life and why I feel like I've always had, had just push back with everything because I'm like, I see what you're doing, but man, what about that? And that's just who I am and what I'm always, always going to be about. And I'm so, so thankful for that. And I, and I, and I really, really loved being able to push some of these, 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 these ideas out so that more people can start thinking a little bit more instead of thinking like, that's just what it is. And because they taught me this and told me that that's what it is, that's what it is. I'm going to come and say, Hey, hold on. I hear what you're saying. And that may be even true, 
But this also may be true on the opposite side of it and that you're not even thinking about it and never even gave it an option. So I hope to continue to keep pushing that. Hey, Oriel. Uh, get down. To keep on pushing stuff like that to make sure that we are constantly thinking, that we're not just going along with what everybody says is true, that we're constantly in an open mind of wondering, why is it like this and why is it like that? Why do we do things like this and we don't do it like that? Why is it that we all go this way but we don't go that way? And I'm so thankful to be able to be a person, to be able to just really see it openly all around and especially this past few years about coming on five years now being out here on this farm of being completely isolated from all news and all everything i mean everything to be able to not have to anything sway me on one side or the other side to be able to just allow me to just look at it everything as as a, a, a total collective and if i hear someone speaking i don't know which side you're on and and i'm not going to try to say i agree with that because you're on this side i'm just going to say i agree with you because that sounds good but over here i don't agree with that so we got to figure that out and it's not even a matter if I agree with it or not. It's a matter of making sure that we all as a people, that's why I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to be alive today. I'm so thankful to, to realize that we all don't need to agree on everything. That you, we all don't need to wear the same clothes. We all don't need to drive the same car. We all don't need to eat the same food. We all don't need to have the same haircuts. We all don't need to have the same dogs. All our animals don't need, all need to look the same. All, all our houses don't need to be the same. We are all complete, individual, unique. And that's something that I just really, really am so thankful for and realizing that we as a people really need to have a good understanding and a better understanding of that, that we are unique. We are individuals that we do not need to do what everybody else does. And that's something that that I want more and more people to just really really think hard about just because you've heard a story one way doesn't mean that that's the only way that that story can be told thank you